Well, rural roadways come with a number of unique safety challenges. And while we often hear of hazards of farm equipment on roads, accidents can also arise due to blowing dirt from farm fields, severely limiting visibility, which leaves many wondering who might be responsible for potential injuries. Roger McGowan with the Washburn School of Law joins us now with some guidance on this. And Roger, you know, I, as I said before we went to camera, I've done my share of driving in the middle of nowhere, going to rodeos and have gotten dust and debris kind of kicked up, but never thought about this being an issue. But this is a big issue, isn't it? Well, it can be, and uh, often uh, it depends on the time of year as to when this happens. And it tends to happen in the spring during planting season when the wind is blowing dirt across the roadway or, or in harvest season, anytime we've got uh, bare ground that's out there. And so it's a combination of exposed soil and tillage or harvesting activity and wind that causes the issue. So do landowners have legal responsibility to minimize that soil erosion? Well, you know, Suzanne, the issue really goes back uh, almost 100 years. The matter of soil erosion from farm fields has been a concern of both the federal and the state governments uh, since the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. And some state laws also go back that far. Now, the state provisions typically will require a landowner to take certain actions that are designed to minimize soil erosion. And in Kansas, for example, the county commissioners can take action against a landowner to minimize soil erosion and require them to adopt certain practices. The Iowa statute was upheld in 1979 against a constitutional challenge. What about liability issue for a farmer, say, that owns land adjacent to a roadway? Are they responsible for any potential injuries? Well, the good news here is that a farmer will generally not be liable for injuries or death that results from obscured visibility due to blowing dirt, but there's a condition here. That's the case if the farmer is following an approved soil conservation plan for the farm or is otherwise using uh, good husbandry practices. Well, Roger, as always, thanks. Obviously on the road there, about to get a bite. So enjoy your lunch. Thank you for taking the time, no matter where you are, to always check in with us. We appreciate your information very much. Roger McGowan with the Washburn School of Law.